okay so let us start we saw previously how spanning tree will block our links so if i say i have multiple links redundant links from one one switch to another assuming that there are four links over here what will spanning tree do spanning tree will have one two three four four links over here on both the sides spanning tree will block these links it will not allow all these links to be used it will only allow one one link so that we can send our data but if if we have a requirement that we need to use all these links we have so many links we have four links from one switch to another switch but we cannot use them what if i have a need to use these links what can i do we can use something called port bundling there are many terms related to it port bundling port bonding people also say port bonding nic teaming in windows nic teaming is there we have port channels actually port channels we have ether channel we have lag uh, that is link aggregation all these terms mean the same thing means to take these links and to bundle them in one logical link so what will we do we will fool spanning tree by saying that this is just one link how do we do that there are two protocols that there is one protocol called lacp it was earlier 802.3 ad and it, there is also one protocol pa gp port aggregation protocol one is link aggregation control protocol and the other is port aggregation protocol so and there is also one mode that if we if you if you do not want to use a protocol we can also use the manual trunking mode but what will these protocols allow us to do they will allow us to bind multiple interfaces into one logical interface pagp is cisco's proprietary so that this means you can only use this protocol on cisco devices and this is open sta open standard so if you have a windows machine also you can use lacp over here these two protocols have two modes one is the active mode and one is the passive mode these modes are for lacp so if you want to run lacp you can choose to run a mode and pagp has two modes desirable and auto what is the difference between these two modes in these two modes one is the see if if you have active on one side this active guy will actively negotiate he will initiate the negotiation means if these two devices come together there must be at least one to start the conversation so it's like this active and desirable if you have active on one side he will actively tell him that i want to form a trunk and this passive guy will say yes i want to form a trunk so you can have active on one side you can, you can have active on one side passive on other side if you are using lacp you can also have active active on both the sides you can say both sides are active but you cannot have passive passive on both the sides means at least one person should initiate the negotiation if we are using protocols you should have at least active and passive or active active passive passive will not if both uh, nobody talks between them how will the trunk come up so similarly in desirable auto also you can have desirable 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 auto but auto auto will not work how many links can you bundle in a port channel you can have eight active links in a port channel so for example if i take two switches over here and i connect multiple links 1 2 3 so what will happen let us see let us do a little fast forward only one link is working rest all these four these four are open but because of this being root bridge he is turning on his links but he is shutting them off so what should be the configuration if you want to configure a port channel now i want to have the four commands on one interface right so simply i can do the range command i can say interface range f0 slash 1 hyphen 4 i want all these four links to be in a port channel so then i will say okay channel hyphen group 
one mode is active means i want to use <coughs> lacp over here and this is the port bundle name it is just the port bundles number it is locally significant you can have one on one side another on the other side and you can say exit or you can also say no shutdown because no shutdown is already given here i created a layer 2 port channel how let's see i can say interface port channel 1 and here you can also give the commands switch port switch port mode is trunk and all those commands if you give this this command on the port channel these commands will be applied on all the four interfaces so how to form a port channel simply go on the interfaces and put them into one logical bundle and specify the protocol that you want to use and then if you want to change any parameters you can go and change the thing is all these links must be of the same type you cannot have one gigabit link and one fast ethernet link no it will not form a port channel so if you want to logically bind multiple interfaces into one link you must have the same speed you must have the same port type you must have the same duplex modes and all so let us do this thing let us copy the command and it is a best practice that you shut down the links you should say shut down over here whatever being a monday i am a bit lazy to type so as of now i'll not shut it down i'll simply use this protocol let us say here let's paste it i i forgot to say enable and then configure terminal and then it will just work fine because i copied the previous config interface f0 slash range one, uh, 1 and 4 channel group 1 mode active exit interface port channel switch port switch port mode is trunk because this is a layer 2 switch that is why it says it is an incomplete command no worries so this is switch port mode trunk so it says i changed the port uh, so let's let's do manually on the other side let us say let me just increase the font over here preferences i just need to increase a little bit font for your new okay let's let's say it's 14 apply let's go in here let's see see like now the font is better enable configure terminal interface range f0 slash 1 dash 4 channel group hyphen group one mode is passive i can say if i change the number here also won't make any difference no worries Channel group one mode passive exit interface port channel one switch port switch port mode is trunk control Z. What are the commands to test these? What are the commands? You can say show ether channel summary on different operating systems, uh, inter network operating system, NX OS. The uh, some people, some some devices will accept port channel over here some devices will accept ether channel over here so show ether channel summary will give us see the port channel change status to up show ether channel summary here it says the group is one this is port channel one this is s and u capital s means it is a layer two port channel u means it is up it is good it is up this is a capital u so this is in use the protocol that we are using is LACP and there are four ports inside this one. So now what will spanning tree do? Spanning tree will use all these four links. And there is something called flow based load balancing. It will, it will load balance the traffic on all the links. So earlier if you had one gigabit link, now you have four gigabit link. You can also check by going, you can say show interface port channel one. It might not work because it is a layer two port channel now this won't work so this is how we can create a port channel using lacp if i want to use pagp what i can do is instead of active i can say desirable remaining all will be same you can also have an on mode so you can also say on but on is what <laughs> we are not using a port channel see let's go let's go on the interface uh, configure terminal interface range f0 slash 1 dash 4 channel group channel hyphen group two mode if i say question mark there are five modes two modes for lacp two modes for pagp and one is manual mode 
you do not want to run any protocol you just want to forcefully put them in a port channel then you can use this on mode also let us create one more port channel simply we will use pagp over there the fifth and sixth port will be in the port channel so here i can say f5-6 mode is desirable and simple as that i am using pagp over there so here just remember that the port channel number should be different there are two types of port channels here these four links are in one bundle and these two links are in two bundles again what spanning tree will do it will block the link because it cannot have two links going on but we just want to form a port channel and we just need to see how to do that all the commands are same but the way of saying is just desirable over here let's go on the other side let's say configure terminal interface range f0 slash 4-5 i think 5-6 sorry 5-6 channel group 2 mode is auto you can say and exit interface port hyphen channel 2 switch port mode is trunk show ether channel summary <coughs> this is it is switched and it is up and this this up means it is good to go but what will spanning tree do show spanning tree spanning tree will see spanning tree is running on now port channels spanning tree does not see this as six links spanning tree sees this as two port channels so here designated forwarding and designated learning this type is shared over here and if you notice over here one port channel will be operational another will not be because for spanning tree there are two links so you can use any protocol if you have cisco proprietary devices you can use pagp show ether channel summary will tell us show ether channel summary will tell us which protocol we are using so if you said desirable it will use pagp and you can also you must also have the same protocol on both the sides one side if a person is saying desirable another side is saying passive this cross work will not happen so for, for example here i am using lacp here i said uh, active and here i said auto active is in lacp and auto is in pagp it will not come up so be sure to use the same protocol on both the sides so this is how you will bundle these links